We just caught a couple of insurgents trying to put explosives on our anti-air vehicles. We suspect this is in preparation for an air raid. Thunder 1 flight will scramble at once. Further instructions in flight. Report to the armored vehicles outside. You will be escorted to your plane by ground crews. Your plane is the only one that is prepped to go. The newly arrived Sukhois are all unchecked after the trip here. Do not count on AWACS being available due to the deteriorating weather conditions. You have to use your own radar to find the enemy. We have little to no intelligence of what forces may be coming your way. Our current theory is that this is a combined arms effort. Weapons free against identified hostile targets. More insurgents landing by helicopter. Why didn't our air defense respond? Well, shit. We better get in to the air as quickly as possible. Data link is online. We are loading the coverage as we speak. Hopefully, whatever armored units we've got there. Multiple Anna. explosions on the flight line. Incoming Frogfoots. Get airborne as soon as possible, Thunderflight. Well, it looks like the air defenses <coughs> managed to get that helicopter in time at any rate. Transferring data as we speak. DTC has been locked. Let's go. There's no sense in waiting around. Stores management panel is online. Power to the jamming pod. Looks like they sure did a number on this base. Flaps. Let's see if we can't fit between them. Yeah, we should be able to. At least the Soviets have been taking heavy casualties here. Let's get up in the air quickly, quick like. PL5s have been selected and are good to go. We'll s Tracking. Tracking. Master arm Tracking. is on. God damn it. Tracking. Those frog foots Tracking. just hit the fro Tracking. light line. Tracking. 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 Another frog foot. Fox two. Tracking. 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 Splash. Splash that frog Tracking. foot. Countermeasures are working. We don't need the afterburner to catch these guys. Tracking. They're gonna be slow. Tracking. Tracking. Fox 2. Tracking. 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 Splash. That'll teach them. As for the other frogfoots, it's a little bit too late to go chase after them now. We'll let them go for now. I really doubt that's the last we've seen of them, so we are going to try and gain some altitude, and... Uh, looks like we got more incoming. Let's switch to the gun, and start the feeding process. I've lost contact. They were somewhere around here, but I lost the contact. We'll check the data link to see if there should be one hostile dead ahead. Looks like our wingman is still on the ta on the taxiway, waiting to get airborne. At least we can do this much for him, cover him while he's taking off.
That's interesting. It's easy to get disoriented in clouds. I was fairly convinced I was actually losing altitude. Thunder flight, picture. Pulse zero nine three for one hundred and forty three. Multiple contacts. Sit tight. Reinforcements are underway from Anapa and Krimsk. Copy beer cob pulse zero nine three. We'll climb to pattern altitude and wait for whatever's coming our way. We got multiple contacts that ahead. They should be entering our radar range in just a couple. And then we will start assigning the targets. Looks like Make 20 freeze, but also some kind of slow mover. I'm going to detach my wingman to engage independently. Clear it hot. We should have them on the radar now, but we also need to adjust our antenna so we can pick them up as well. Since we're not relying on AWACS here today, it's going to be a bit more tricky to get the lock we need. There we got him. About... Well... That warning system is going to give me a heart attack. I mean, that was my wingman's missile, but still, the system just decides to warn me about an incoming missile. Speaking of that, we should... Countermeasures are online, jamming should be online. Target is dead ahead. We're clear. Fox free zero nine zero. That looks like a fast mover to me. Splashed him. Let's see what we got more in the region. There. I have what looks like a slow mover. Let's slow down a little bit. Three five zero, Fox Free. That's a bomber. He dropped his payload, but that did not help him in the long run. God damn it, my wingman just got hit. Well, at least then we can confirm that guy is hostile. Fox free. Yeah, that's definitely a MiG-23. Splashed him. I don't know if we got any more targets left at the moment. There we go. We got... But I think that's our wounded wingman, actually. Two is ejecting, a second two is ejecting. And considering our low ordnance, we should be turning back to makeup, really. I somehow doubt that we can make it through another dogfight with what we've got here. Wait a minute, we got contacts very close. Let's investigate them and see what the hell they're up about. 
They could be friendlies, but part of me just knows better. Either way, we should get a visual ID before we actually pull the trigger on these guys. That looks like Frogfoots. 160, Fox 3. Did not see what hit him. Let's lock up the second the second one. In fact, let's reduce the radar range a wee bit. Make sure that we can actually see what the hell we are wanting to shoot at. Visibility is low, and we're out of ordnance. There he is. Right behind us. We'll have to rely on the gun for the last one. Gun has been selected. We'll just have to uh, make sure we have the target. There we go. Locked up tight. Fuel looks good. Looks like we got the flankers from Krimsk are now joining. Battle. They are coming in from the west. That's good to hear. The winds at this level are blowing my airplane steadily off course. There he is. Even the calculation for the gun is are being steadily thrown off. We got him. I'll have to be enough for one day. Let's get back to base. Foxhounds from Anapa are now joining the battle. They are coming in from the west.
reinforcements have arrived to defend against further attacks. You may return to base, Thunderflight. Copy, Beer Cub. Thunderflight will return to base. Despite the lack of a flight plan or any sort of preparation or anything really, I would say that this mission proceeded fairly well. The ground attack sure took us by surprise, but the enemy helicopter was dispatched and one of our own Heinz uh, was quick to respond to the enemy ground forces. We responded quickly and efficiently to the Frogfoot threat and managed to get airborne very quickly and even got a missile off in the initial engagement. However, that missile did not seem to have actually hit one of the aircraft, so we had to re-engage. Still, it was an interesting display, and we then decided that since these aircraft had already expended their ordnance, it was essentially no use trying to chase them down. Now, I had actually not caught on to the fact that these Frogfoots were still attacking the base, but I decided to head for the other aircraft that we got directed to instead. While our, the loss of our air defenses sure is serious, it's not critical in the long run. And it's also interesting to see that the Hind actually tried to fire an AT-6 missile at these frogfoots. Either way, we managed to um, uh, intercept the enemy and uh, the two backfires and two floggers. And uh, my first missile splashed a flogger, and my wingman's first missile splashed a. did not splash anything, sorry. And actually, his second missile also seems to have missed. Then we splashed a backfire of our own, and our wingman was hit. So we had to avenge him by taking him out with an SD-10 right there. So that went, I would say, rather well. And then we encountered the Frogfoots on our way back. So we shot down the lead one with an SD-10. And then we went in for guns on the second guy. The second guy didn't really do much in terms of evasive maneuvers, so he pretty much gave us an easy shot here, yeah, but still. Then we had the larger enemy wave incoming, and we decided that enough simply had to be enough, and decided to return to base, while the fox bats and flankers took care of the rest. You can see that quite clearly here. And then we went in for a very windy landing at Makeup, as you can see here. This landing is not in the video, for reasons that my recording has three times completely just lagged out when I recorded this landing. I suspect it has something to do with the fact that the computer has to calculate the wind as well as render the entire thing. So, sorry for the out of character moment there, but I wanted to just state why there was no landing recording. And I'm kind of pissed about that because it was a, such a nice landing. It was a tricky landing. It was the kind of landing I have problems with and may, actually succeeding with it made it just the better but 